Hey, I'm Steve Knotts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a live pack so that you can take a project that someone shared with you, get it open with all the samples and instruments and everything included, nothing getting lost, ready to play with. So here we have a blank Ableton project. Let's go to a place where I downloaded something. This is a folder. It's a zip archive with a live pack inside. Let's double click and I get that cool icon for an Ableton live pack. You can see the extension .alp. That means it's a live pack. Again, we're going to select this and double click. Ableton says preparing installation and it wants to know where are you going to put it. This is really important for file management. You want to know where your projects are. So I'm putting it into this um, project folder on my music folder. It opens the archive, copies all the stuff. And here's the place people get stuck a lot. Now we're still, we're still looking at a blank Ableton session. Nothing happened yet. Well, go to the place where you saved your project. Okay. I asked it to install right into this um, folder. Now you can see an Ableton project folder. That's the black one with the colors on it. Let's double click and open that. And here's what we need, the ALS file. That's the program file that opens up your session. So we double click on that. Do I want to save changes to untitled? No. And now, there we go. Ableton has opened this one, Mixer Texture Template Live Titan Standard. And we have all of the pieces and parts, tracks, effects, labels, names, everything in there ready to go. And whatever was in the live pack is going to be on screen when you, um, when you open it up. That's all you have to do to open a live pack. And one more time, what are the steps you're going to go through? First, download the live pack in a zip archive or whatever format you have it. You'll see this logo with the ALP extension for live pack. Double click to expand that. You get an Ableton project folder. Inside the project folder, you will find the ALS file for Ableton live set. And when you double click on that, it opens Ableton and gives you the project that was inside the live pack. That's all you have to do. Now, if you have any questions, please email me, steve at mixandtexture.com, and I'll be happy to help you out. See you soon.